G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a guy who was an elite monster hunter and what he gets up to on Bumble. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump straight in. His name's Austin Dunham. The original video is in the video description if you wanna check it out. Let's go. Today, I'm swiping right on every girl using Bumble. Cute, <laughs> hot, ugly, and everything in between. Legend. The reason why do. I do this is to not boost my own ego but to just experiment and test if I was to lower my standards completely, how well would I do? Pretty bloody well, I reckon. Like, if, if this guy's probably a good looking dude, he's probably the top 1% of guys looking, just looking at him. Super jacked, good looks, all that sort of stuff. Good old dump starving, good old monster hunting. Even the best of the best do it. I love it. I've already done this experiment one other time on Tinder, Did and today that Bumble is perfect for this because the girls have to message you first. Starting first, we're gonna start swiping oh, on the Bumble home screen. So remember, we're swiping right on everybody. Let's go Don't ahead. lie, you like it, mate. You like it, you're all about Mora. You love them. Good old Mora. Get started. Mara, yeah. Oh, Olivia. Let's get it. Okay. Give that kitty a compliment. We ain't doing no compliments. Let's go ahead and swipe left on that one. Right, right, right. Sarah. This is a standard way a lot of guys use dating apps anyway. I will think how they used to use them. I think you get uh, uh, like shadow banned or something like that if you swipe too much. Uh, if you don't pay, especially, they sort of they push you down and keep you on the um, keep you chasing the dragon so you pay for it. Kirsten. Okay, there we go. Finally, your boy got one match. Let's get it. Let's keep it going. Anna. Yes. Right. Okay, I like that. Larisa. Another Anna. Nicole. Sasha. So, guys, my goal with this is to swipe on at least 100 women. Minimum 100. Let's keep it going. Okay, and there we go. So far, we got a few matches. We're doing pretty good. I may or may not already have had a business meeting with this one, but we're gonna swipe right just to see if I can spin the block. Ooh. <laughs> Come back the seconds. Good old Tyrone here. Drilling out some guts, man. He's a professional gut pumper, this bloke. Love it. Less. Say less. Lizzie, yes. Let's get it. Bumble has all these ads. I ain't gonna lie. Come on. Let's keep it going. We got flight attendant. We got Jen. Isabella, Jojo. Okay, we got that match. Let's get it. Paige. Oh, he pretends. He pretends he's not about it, man. You guys at home, you're all about it. Uh, Bridget here. Who has not done a Bridget before? I'm going to put my hand up. I've done it. We've all done it. We've all taken them down behind the cricket pavilion in the rain, guys. 3 a.m. Thrown them on top of the Grey Nichols pads. We've all done it. Come on. He's like, oh, nah. Mm, nah, not Bridget. Uh, Bridget is like the target market. That's what you want. <laughs> Everybody, I'm very interested to see these results, guys, because after the 24 hours is up, I'm going to read out all the messages that I've received. And that's the beauty with Bumble is that the girls have to message first once again, and they have 24 hours to do so. So if they don't message me within a 24 hour time frame, then the match expires. Oh, Olivia. I oh, Olivia. yeah. All right. I'm all about Jamie here because these, these are the ones you know. They've got to have some skills developed, gentlemen. Um, look, at this, I reckon good old Jamie here, you know, she's a bigger girl, but guess what? I reckon she'll be a good good time. And the thing is, girls like Jamie on the dating apps, they just get that many blokes anyway, because all the guys are going down on monster hunting. All the little planktons are all up trying to get a little bit of a little bit of algae off the rocks, you know, at the bottom of the pond. That's what we're trying to do because you got guys like Tyrone here, you know, taking them all. We don't, you know, Tyrone, leave some for us, mate. I'm taking Jamie. She's mine. You're not yours. Get your hands off your own. She's mine. <laughs> Can I go back? How do I go back? I try to go back to Olivia. We swiping still. Casey, Misty, Ashley, Loki. Okay. That's two matches. Three matches. Come on. Can we get five in a row? <laughs> we got three matches in a row so far. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, Latin princess. Damn it. You, see, you see the one there? She had herself up on the um, on the tree there. You know, they're, they're the kind of ones that put in their profiles. Not looking for O and S. Not looking for FWB. But her picture is her literally um, arched out, doggy style, bent back off a tree. Oh, you yeah, don't look at me, you pervert. I'm looking for a real man. I'm looking for a husband here. <laughs> 
I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not here for games. Time to settle down. Coming too far. I, I gotta slow it down for a little bit. Let's actually take a look at some of these profiles now, right? Emily, Luz, all right. Let's, let's see Luz, what Luz talking about. Oof. Mm. Tell you what, we call those childbearing hips. I'm all about that. All right, let's get a Savannah. I think so far we almost have swiped, it has to be nearly at 100 girls now. I would think so, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna aim. <laughs> we keep getting the matches coming in. Have you seen these pictures? Like probably half of the profiles that he's put up have been women just like showing off their assets, right? We get a lot of them who'll say, men objectify me, I'm not an object. I want someone to love me for me, but don't then don't market yourself um, with your ass hanging out, uh, bending back of a tree with your, with your boobs hanging out. Love it. Well, that kind of girl. Let's aim for five more matches. I'll be satisfied if I get five more matches. Okay, that's one, two, three. Oh, I, I want to. Four, five, one for good luck, six. Let's get 10, let's, wait, let's get 10, seven, eight, nine. Fuck, this is taking me back into a time warp, man. This used to be like an everyday thing. A hundred, I'll do a thousand. <laughs> uh. It's like um, it's like going fishing. It's like playing the power ball, pull, pulling down the handle, isn't it? I'm glad I'm not doing it though. It is a lot of work. It, it takes a lot of effort. I, I wouldn't be able to do monster hunting full blown and also run this channel. I'm happy running the channel. I'll tell you that. Let's get it. Let's get it. 10. Another one. Ooh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, damn it. Listen, we're, we're doing pretty good, all right? So I think I've swiped on enough women so far. So I'm gonna say, um, this is more true to life than what a lot of these other videos where they show like a Chad guy going on Tinder and sort of the chicks that he gets because they do curate them to show that he only gets these super mega hot babe matches. This is more like what you're actually gonna see regardless of how good looking a guy is. It's still hard. It's still hard hunting monsters. Sure, he's matched them. Um, you still gotta get him into the back of the VN. You still gotta get him to agree to meet you behind the cricket pavilion. That takes skill. Let's see how good this guy is. I wanna see it. Um, but yeah, as I said, true to life, people say, oh, you know, Chad's and Tyrone's and Bryce's and that. It's real easy for them. They go on and they can bang heaps of chicks. Yes. It's true to an extent, but it takes a lot of effort, a lot of swiping, a lot of stuffing around and, and dealing with um, females, right? a lot of talking to women, uh, a lot of dealing with getting flaked, all the same stuff. They just have more opportunities uh, to do it. So I think this is showing true to life what happens. Well, this was my experience anyway. Yeah, I'll get heaps of matches like that. Majority of them are going to be monsters. And hey, I'm all about that. There should be more of it. Love it. All right. But let's move on to the next thing. So, so far we have 37 matches in our queue. Now the thing about Bumble is that they also have a like you section or a section where women have already liked you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this section right here, which is 900, wow. 900 plus so far. And we're gonna swipe right no, on a, a vast 100. majority of these women, all right? So I think this one means a girl super like me. Let's go and swipe right on that. We want to swipe right on everybody. All these matches, all these likes. Let's the standard Sunday it. afternoon, boys. Let's get it. Everybody. April. Hey, let's, let's take a look at April for a moment. I am not looking for something casual. Every guy. Yeah, there you go. I'm not looking for something casual. We've all seen that one. That was a joke that I was just making. Let me guess. She'll be bouncing up and down on this guy. Um, no dramas at all if he uh, tries and lines it up, plays his cards somewhat right. How many times have I seen that? I see that as a sign. I see that as a green light to have a crack. As a higher probability, you're going to get some action in the VN. But this is the standard Sunday. I do like how he's doing it. Just a guy sitting on his couch, swiping on a thousand monsters, just trying to get some action. Good on him. All guys do it. Oh, no, I don't do that. I only swipe on the hot ones. No, you don't. Come on. Come on. You know who you're talking to here. Don't bullshit me. Come on. Casual. Yet you have something casual in your bio. The logic here, guys, but she's she's looking good. I'm going to swipe right on that. Right? Right? See, this is the beauty of actually buying the- All right, guys, so about halfway through the video, I'm just going to stop it here, then we'll let it play for a decent chunk. Um, if you are enjoying the channel, please sub. I'm aiming for 10K subs, and uh, your support in the channel's growth is much, much appreciated. Also, to further support the channel, guys, either check out the, the link in the Patreon if you do want to pledge, um, or alternatively, just watch my videos through to the end. Um, let YouTube pay me. All right, let's get on with it.
the premium services, you can already see who has liked you. All right, Naomi, probably the only person interested in seeing your Spotify wrapped to disqualify you. I'll we'll swipe right on that. Okay. A Mary. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. We still swiping, guys. Come on, you'll love No it. discrimination here. So far, I think we have gathered 80 matches. <laughs> oh, hey, again. Oh, hey. Wait. <laughs> I don't probably put her away. That's awkward. To this particular woman. Yo, the oh, that happened before. Like you, you go off the apps for a bit and you jump on, and it's, maybe it's been twelve months. Um, you know, since you've been with a girl, and you you disappear and you go and do what happens. You might date a girl for a while, get off the apps, all that sort of stuff. You jump back on, you match with the same girl, and she says, "Hey, how are you going?" And you're like, and "She goes, don't you remember me? Uh, we uh, did whatever." And you're like, uh, "You're trying to put two and two together." Uh, it, it is a first world problem. It absolutely is a, it is a problem of a womanizer, but it does happen where you just literally cannot remember the ones that you've already put away off the apps as well, especially when you're running high volume like this guy. These are already coming in, guys. They're already coming. Oh my God. It's all the same. They are hey. coming in fast too. 80 messages so far. Stay tuned because I'm going to check 24 hours later to see how many messages we actually get, guys. I'm not going to respond to any right now. But y'all are just gonna have to stay tuned because <laughs> this is gonna get absolutely crazy. I don't even think I can swipe on 850 plus matches, but I am curious to see what they are gonna say. There should be a match all button. I constantly just feel my phone vibrating with the messages that are coming in. It's getting crazy, guys. It is getting crazy. So I'm gonna do a few more homepage swipes too. We'll see what's up with this. That's three. Yeah, this is going it. absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. Let's go back to the like me section. I know I swipe fast on a lot, but some of these aren't too bad. Aren't like, come on, man. What's he <laughs> on about? I'll be all about that. That'll be straight up on top of the kookaburra pads, gents. What's he on about? Come on, bro. What? <sighs> That's all right, bro. Yeah, we're going to still swipe on a few more. Almost there, almost done, just a few more. For the last ones, let's pick out some good ones that were actually like filling heavy, a lot. Filling a lot, let's go ahead and see. Okay, Nicole, you looking right? Oh, Dana. Mm. Sky, there she is, okay, let's see. I do skincare and cooks, not interested in hookups. That's I love what they that. always say until they meet me. Exactly right, and then he's balls deep digging out guts, that's what he's doing. Love it. He's in the back of the Pontiac. What do you guys have over in the States? It'll be like a Pontiac, wouldn't it? It'd be um, uh, a LeBaron. He's in the back of the LeBaron. Bam. Okay, we can like right on that one. See some of those assets. You see, guys, as I've explained on my Patreon, I'm a body guy, right? And if you guys want to watch me swipe on my hands, check out my Patreon. Link will be down below. But me and my friend Chad, we are discussing like what we value Chad. when we swipe. Because he's a lot more pickier than I am, right? And I was telling him like, I really look for body and I value physical. Now, that doesn't mean to say that I don't care about the face, because I definitely care about the face, but I would rather take an above average body and an average face than an above average face with an average body, at least for now. There's, there's a lot I'm of girls with that. guys. We're gonna pick one more out of this list. We, we gotta pick a really good one. Hey, do you talk a big game, though. Let's wait and see what he says when he's got a fully charged hard on at 3 a.m. and uh, Heidi or whatever her name was, uh, Mora. Mora comes up and says, hey, come meet me behind the um, the gridiron. Uh, the bleach is down at the gridiron stands. Let's get down there in the back of the uh, Sabre Le Baron. He'll be down there. Straight up, you have like the Ghostbusters. Boo! He's taking the, um, you know, like like police academy, mate. And he grabs the uh, siren. I can wax it on the roof. Out he goes, undercover monster hunter, attending to action. Good one though, because so far we have went down in our standards, but we're gonna save the best for last. You know what? Shout out to my black queens once again. We're gonna swipe right on Jenerba. 
bam. So now we're gonna wait 24 hours and then stay tuned because I'm gonna read out all the messages that I've received within the 24 hour time frame. We've swiped right on nearly 200 to 300 girls now. And I'm very curious to see what they're gonna say. If you guys wanna see my Bumble pictures and my bio and how I get girls to message me first and see more success in dating apps alongside with me swiping on Hinge and other exclusive content, be sure to check down below for my Patreon where you'll get access to 100 plus videos on more dating game, more advice, and more okay, exclusive content to help you get better in your dating life. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so so good on him. Probably has makes heaps of money doing this. I'm not gonna. He seems like a decent dude, right? He doesn't seem like a wanker or anything like that. What is the best way to have game on the dating apps? A good prop. Be good looking. That's just the reality of it. Be tall. Be good looking. Have muscles. All right. Um. Uh, give off an aura that you uh, that you're successful, even if it's not true. Like you know, photos with the suit. Photo with your friends. Photo doing some stupid activity. Photo. Uh. You know, with your guns hanging out. You know, your arms hanging out. So you could you could come up with all the game, all the texting. If if they don't like the pictures, good good luck with any of that shit. It's not getting you nowhere. So um, I get it, but I think guys watch his videos and then they think, oh, I'm going to be able to get the results he does. You can't because you don't look like him, right? And you could also try and teach game. You can you know you can teach things to people, but you are you. And and these guys, uh, monster hunters, mate, we we do it naturally. It's hard to teach. You just are, and you know how to sort of. Uh, approach conversations with women, be cheeky, know when to do the right things. It's all about being reactive. You, it's hard to have a bloody script. If you guys were to say to me, teach me about monster hunting, it'd be very difficult. Like I wouldn't be able to do it and be genuine about it. I'd be lying to you, right? I just make it up as I go. I used to just make it up. I would say right after I finished filming part one, we got up to 300 matches in the queue with 18 messages in that time frame. Now, if we take a look into our Bumble right now, we it. only have 10 matches in the queue and we have a ton of messages. So what I'm gonna do now is go through the best messages, kind of reply back to some, cause we got a ton, like, and we got some expiring here soon, all right? So let's go ahead and find the best ones. We're gonna skip the haze, hello, handsome, hi there's. We're not answering those at Which all. Which is just about every message you're gonna get from a chick. No girl has any game, so always a hey, always say this, always hey, or it's the wavy uh, emoji hand. It used to piss me off so much. It's just no effort at all. No effort at all. Or sometimes I do a little sun picture or a little island picture or something stupid like that. Just something they don't know what to say. So let's put in something so you, hopefully you react to it and drive the conversation. Like women have the worst game ever. Um, I can tell you now, I've, I've come across very few women that I thought were so funny, had game that actually stand out um, that I could actually remember them. <laughs> because 99.9% .9 do not. All right, so let's go ahead and see. See, my dream would be to just happen to run into each other at the grocery store over the last piece of something. Hmm, what should we reply back to this? Come and bang if me. If you saw all me in a grocery store, you would not even look me in the eye. Bam. All right, see this one. I'm sorry for the late message. I meet people every day at work, but not the people I want to meet. So you're saying I'm a person you want to meet. Okay. Awesome. You must have a good taste. You must have nice tits. Taste. <laughs> so how did this model end up being on a Bumble? Hmm. Funny you say that, Miranda, because you yourself are looking kind of good too. Perhaps the same reason you did. What a dime. Let's look at Natalie. Oh, she said, what a dime. Natalie, she was... she's a future plenty of fish slash oasis, oasis active resident uh, institutionalized, covered in those tats. If they get me started on chicks to put those tats on the on the sternum, you know, in between the breasts there, guys, tell me what your thoughts on them. they got a big diamond or some big skull or something there. Worst aging tat I reckon a chick can get. It's like the new extreme tramp stamps that have all these tattoos on their chest. Tell me what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Because uh, I'm definitely, if I say that, it goes into the even not even in the VN category. Wouldn't even do it. It goes into I think she's gonna knife me or put a curse on me um, category. Play back to that, guys. I'm gonna just say thanks. <laughs> oh, that's an asshole reply. It is what it is. 
You know, see, we got messages expiring so fast. We gotta hurry up and go through these. Let's, let's find some really good ones. I hope the feather boa is an everyday look for you. I have no idea what she's talking about. Yo, what's your snap? Oz to boss. Y'all can add me on Snapchat too. Tons of haze, hellos. Hi, babe. Like, I, I actually have no motivation to reply to yep, any of I'm with these. him. I'm with him. I know there has to be some good ones. Unfortunately, you are right about the per not meeting in person thing. The amount of times I delete dating apps only to re-download them as ridiculous, but it's not so bad because then I get to meet people like you. Come in the very end. <laughs> I'm going to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, now I'm about to make her re-delete it. Oh, we got a message back from Kylie <laughs> already. What'd she say? I said, if you saw me go short, you were up proudly. Is that so? Maybe that's why most girls need you to carry the conversation. That is absolutely true. Let's keep it going. There's so many messages to go through. Delaney, you are way too fine to be on this app. Please let me be the reason you get off. Let's take a look at Delaney, all right? Let's take a look. Ugh. Let's take a look. How should we arrange that? All right, let's keep it going because I have messages expiring so fast right now. I love how your smile compliments your eyes. <laughs> we got a low investment message right here by Jaylene. Let's take a look at Jaylene. See, it's always the attractive girls, you know, they put in the least amount of effort. You know what I'm gonna say back? Hi. Two can play that game. If I get one more hey, See this one. You think you could grab my arm so I could tell people I was touched by an angel? Cause sir, you are very handsome. I'm just an angel in disguise. <laughs> Alright guys, look, I'm gonna end it there. Look, it's been a quite an entertaining video watching Tyrone just swipe and everything. He's probably gonna crush them all. Um, hoping he can come back and uh, give us a bit of a field report on how many he did put away. But guys, it does go to show you um, the high volumes that you can get if you have the right profile and obviously the right genetic makeup as well. I never had as many as this. Like I never had 900. Like that's just incredible. Um, but I would at times sometimes get over 100, no problem. Um, and the same sort of thing, a bit of a mixed bag. You get plenty of monsters, probably half of them are monsters, half of them are okay. And oh, maybe like just over half okay, and then you get a few small percentage where they're you know really good looking that you probably don't even bother with anyway. But um, all right, guys, hope you had a bit of a laugh, had a bit of fun here. Maybe it um you can resonate with some of the messages and stuff this guy got. Tell me about your experience on the dating apps. You guys, Monster Hunters, uh, Monster Hunters uh, in training. Tell me what you get up to. All right, boys, have a great day, and thank you for those who did stick around for twenty two minutes. Greatly appreciated as always.